going to want to go to canva.com and then you're going to create a design and you're going to add a custom size 900 by 900. You just want it square and a decent size. And then once that pulls up, you're going to look on the left hand column and you're going to go up to not, not uploads, to elements. You're going to search for a volleyball. And the volleyball you want is free. It's this one and you stretch it out to the corners of your um, canvas there. And then we're gonna change the colors. So go up to the top and change the um, dark gray to white and the light gray to black. Um, and then you go and you choose a, a rectangle shape and you can, oh, I changed that color to dark gray, not black, let's change it to black. Um, and then you're going to take your shape and you're going to stretch it out and make it the size you want in the center of your volleyball. And once you've got it sized to what you want, we're going to um, get it centered and then change the color to white. And that basically removes um, everything from the center. Now you're going to add your text, add a heading, and then type in the name that you want. And this is my daughter's name, Kenzie. And then change your font to sports world. You can type up in the search element up top. You're not, so you're not scrolling through a thousand of fonts. And then you want to resize that to be in the center of your volleyball. And um, Canva has nice guidelines. So it shows you right in the center and that's good. And then I like to stretch it out all the way to the edge so that I know I'm centered up, up um, at the top. You can also use the center button. And then you want to do line spacing so you can stretch your letters out. If you've got a shorter name, you can um, uh, stretch them out. And if you've got a longer name, you can make them smaller. You want your name to fit in there nicely and make sure I'm going to make sure everything's centered again. Looks good. Um, and then what you do is it's counterintuitive because it says share, but it's actually that share button is how you save to downloads. You're going to want to save it as a PNG. And then once you share, just choose your location and the name of your file. Um, I had already made this one, so I already have a file named Kenzie, so I'll just replace it. And you've got that. Next, you open your Cricut. And I had another project up, so let me close that out real quick. Sorry about that. Um, and now you're going to create a new project in the upper right corner. And on the far left, down toward the bottom, it says Upload. And you'll want to choose um, what you upload. And you'll upload a new image from wherever you saved it. So find your volleyball image. Choose it. And then you're going to open it there. And then you're going to choose a complex image type. And you're going to remove the background. If you have O's or A's, you want to make sure all those little purple pixelated things are filled in. Choose cut image and then choose the image that you want and add it. And then this is your canvas. And so you want to move this into the corner. Um, and then we're putting this on a wood disc that's six and a half inches long. So you want this slightly smaller than six and a half. And so we're going to do that. And then we will say make it. And it will just direct you from there how to like connect your, your Cricut to Bluetooth. And you should be good to go from there.